Babies are really good at learning language patterns. Not just the individual words, but they figure out patterns. This is one reason why uh, babies figure out their native languages so easily, as well as non-native languages when they are um, in an environment where they are allowed to hear other languages, then they will learn the patterns in those languages as well. So I'll give an example that everyone would be familiar with in English. In English, babies aren't simply learning all of the individual words that they hear. They're also figuring out when to add an S onto words to make them plural, or when to add an ED onto words to make them past tense. You don't need to sit down and explain the rules of grammar to a two-year-old. The child is just figuring out very naturally without, without being told. So they don't need to study by rules. They figure out the patterns from listening to the people around them speak. So it's very important to speak with proper grammar. Then the child will not need to study to learn. They even figure out when to add an ing onto words. And that's something that most of us as native English speakers would have a hard time explaining, but we all learned it very naturally and we know when to do it, but explaining how to do it might be more difficult. So that means if you're learning English later in life, then you have to learn by rules to figure out when to do these kinds of things. It's much better to figure out the patterns naturally. So. Please speak with proper grammar. Use pronouns. A lot of parents will get in the habit of, of calling themselves mom or mom or dad or daddy or whatever they call themselves instead of saying I or me. And you want to use pronouns, you want to use proper grammar, and then the baby will figure out grammar very easily and very naturally. If you don't know something, it's very easy to look it up now. I would look things up if if I can't remember if it's swim, swam, swung, or, or whatever it is, look it up and then your baby can learn properly the first time. It's not just English that obviously where they learn the patterns. They can also learn patterns of other languages. They can learn patterns of written language. So they're not only learning the individual words. It's possible that they can also figure out the patterns without being told all of the rules of phonics, they can also figure out patterns. So allow your baby to learn language skills early on when they can learn patterns more easily. So for instance, if uh, a child knows how to read the book, baby, uh, bottle, uh, and so on, words that start with the B, the baby can figure out that the B makes the, the sound uh, on, on his or her own. The child can figure this out. So they would need to learn a large number of words in order to do that, just like with spoken language, they need to learn a large number of words. But by 12 months of age, babies have already figured out some syntax. So the same can also be true with other aspects of language, whether it's learning second languages or written language or sign language or any other aspect of language the babies can learn early in life. So you can watch these videos of babies reading individual words. And the first baby is my own daughter, Alika. And at nine months of age, um, she could read many individual words. And then by 18 months of age, she was sounding out many words on her own. I'm not saying that every baby would be doing this because obviously they won't. And we, we do have a, a number of babies who, who sound words out before the age of two. Some babies will not for various reasons. Primarily, most parents don't start teaching written language until later. So that makes it nearly impossible for the child to be able to do this if they don't learn language patterns during this window of opportunity for learning language, then they will need to be taught by rules. So it's harder to learn language skills when you learn by rules. I studied German for five years and I still mess up the German continuously because I can't remember how to switch der, die, and das, the articles that come before the nouns 
and I, I mess them up while I'm talking because I can't remember uh, all of the complicated rules. They seem complicated to me, but two-year-old German babies have figured all of these out. So it's definitely possible to do a lot more if you start with a young baby and harder if you wait until the child is older. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Okay. And we're good. Pointing. Foot. This word. Yep. Dog. S. Monkey. Ears. Big. Yes. Not. Crap. Baby. No. Pick. Wow. Draft. Jacob, what's this say? Hair. Hair. Jacob, what's this say? Animals. Animals. Good. What does that one say? Cup. Cup. What does that one say? Drinking. Drinking. What does Cup. that say? Foot. Good boy, foot. What does this one say? Look. Fingers. Fingers. What does that say? <laughs> 